Good morning. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. This morning I'm putting together another Vice Squad six pack pattern, and for this session I've chosen Mercer's Z Wing Caddis. This is a, a good little caddis pupa. We've been uh, having good luck with it here in the front range, and we carry it in the shop. It's been a popular fly. Great little dropper for caddis season. Tying it on a scud hook, size 14. This happens to be a Dairiki 135. And I like to use 140 denier thread. It lets me build up a little bit of bulk and more quickly. And with a little more bulk in certain places, you can kind of shape the fly and then it doesn't take as much dubbing. And when you're able to use a smaller amount of dubbing, you can exert a little bit more control over the shape. Now for the back I'm going to use a thin skin. Any dark thin skin will do. This one is a the gator pattern. I've got some of the kits have uh, mottled bustard. Some of them are solid brown. Make sure you get down the bend a little ways. These uh, pupa the have kind of a tuck position where their back is hunched and it's, uh, it's distinctive so don't miss a chance to imitate that feature. For ribbing I'm using UTC ultra wire. This is chartreuse. Actually this one is metallic green but chartreuse looks really good as well. Now see that I've left a little bit of space between that wire and the thin skin. I need to get a, a turn of dubbing behind that so that uh, when I do start making ribbing turns, it won't crease the thin skin. It'll just slide right up on top. Now for dubbing, you can use just about any caddis color. I like the ice dub type dubbings. I'm picking out an olive. I also tie these in yellows and a few of them in orange. Now here's where I've built up the back of the abdomen a little bit with my 140 denier. Now the back end of these caddis pupa <clears throat> are bigger than the front, so it's kind of a reverse taper. So I go ahead and build a little bit of a ball on the back and then dub towards the front, creating a little bit of a taper. There you go. Now I folded the wire over the top so that when it makes its first revolution it'll be approaching the thin skin. From the side and you'll see how it jumps up a little more easily. Pull your scud back, your uh, thin skin over the top. Make sure it's centered. And here you go. When I make my first turn of ribbing, I don't need to jump it up onto the thin skin from the back side. I'm doing it from the side so it makes it nice and neat. Now I move my wire forward a little bit so when I make this next ribbing, you notice it's not in a spiral. I'm trying to make them parallel. Yeah, see if I can show it. I mean, from the top, you know, it looks like it's six different bands. On the bottom is where the wire actually advances forward. Now, for wing buds, I'm going to use an Antron. Antron, Zelon, Poly. Uh, you can use a dark gray, ginger. This is kind of a light tan. Now I'm going to tie that in on my side and then swing the far wing over and get them way down there on the center line of the fly <clears throat> so there's a good separation and the shell back shows through. 
and then trim them so that they're about half the length of the abdomen. They don't need to be very big. Now, for the front, you just need any kind of a dark dubbing. You can use Peacock, the original called for Peacock. Um, I've chosen some synthetics, of course. And this time I'm going to use a <clears throat> hair's ice. It's called uh, Harder's Bloody Black. It's uh, got a little bit of red and copper type flash in it, which looks great behind this copper bead. And sometimes your bead gets stuck off center with all of the thread wraps in front. So make sure your bead's centered, get a good whip finish. I like these to be shaggy, but you can trim it up a little bit if you want. So there you have it Mercer Z Wing Caddis.